more tippy. Beautiful day, guys. Uh, April 22nd. Bluebird day for the most part. High tides at close to 3 o'clock. Right on the new moon. So we got a flood tide. Water's tide's about to flip to go out. Should get some really good movement. Now we're just getting over to our spot. This thing tracks really good. Alright guys, so here we are fishing again. This beautiful day in search of the notorious redfish. Fishing for a baby whale. Fishing for a baby whale, then says. See my shrimp swimming good. There. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got me in the mangroves. That's a redfish, boys and girls. Oh, he's pulling us over there. He ain't a monster by any means, but there's another one with him. Yep, he just swam away. He's not a monster, but he's a healthy fish. What do you boys think about that? Oh yeah. See that? See that, guys? It's all about placement. That's a healthy, healthy, beautiful redfish. Make sure you get a good shot of that. Off he goes. All right. Yeah, man, they're hugging it. They're hugging them tight up under the trees. Very, very tight. Uh, we're gonna try that again. See if we can't find. Mama, he was smaller. Oh. Yeah. That's about where I got that last one, guys. I don't know if you could see that very well. You get a hit. Trying to turn this way, guys, so you can get a better view of what's transpiring here. about 24 7 but they should definitely accommodate the anglers and make sure they're getting appropriate size baits I 
love cork fishing, guys, because you know a lot of us start off young fishing, uh, you know, freshwater brim and even bass shiner fishing and things like that. It's just always exciting just to see that cork shoot up underneath the trees and know that you know big old redfish is on there and ready to mingle. Guys, sometimes you just want to let the tide and the wind do the work for you. Let it push that bait up in, uh, in that vegetation. Oh, and I missed it. I missed it, guys. He plucked my junk right off. Threw it on his head. Yeah, then these are pathetic shrimp, dude. Here. Uh, it's to the right of it. There he is, guys. I'm right on that same spot almost where I just missed that one. Let's see if he wants to come back out. Oh, I'm on the bush. That was a perfect freaking cast, too. Close the show, guys. Even the perfect cast ain't always the perfect cast. I know you're sitting in there. Eating up all my shrimp. Having a gay old time. Damn it. I can't believe you ain't got nothing out of that pocket right there. I know. I've been filming right in there. Have you been getting in there deep enough? Oh, I missed him again. That can't be a redfish. Yeah, he's. There's no way. He's eating good under there. Oh, that's a redfish. Oh, oh, it might be a snook. Look like it's a snook. It's a snook, guys. It's a snook. All right. It's all right, though. We like snooks, too. Snookaroos. Oh. Say pretty. Say cheese for the camera. There he goes. All right, guys, so when you start to see this thing, this, this leader shave, take the time and change it. I've seen so many fish lost by people not doing their due diligence with a simple hook or a line change. And it only takes a second. I know, you get in the spur of the moment, nobody wants to change or cut off leader and retie, but what if you get that big boy and it breaks at the hook? could have been prevented. Well, if I can get a trout out of here, I'll have a slam. Could go out to the flat and do that, but I'd really like to get me a big old redfish. Vince needs to get on the board. Alright guys, 
back on, retied, all in real time. So that way you can get the experience. And again, guys, what we did, like I told you before, is we wanted to rent this canoe, come out here and do something exactly like what anyone could do. Bring a couple rods, a little bait bucket, and a canoe rental. Just to show you that anyone can come out here and uh, have a good time, catch some fish while doing it. Well, this tide is just about to flip. But it should be about to come back on here in a minute. Whoa! See, fishing is dangerous, guys. There. Trying to weed through and get the bigger ones for us while we can. Got this good tide. I would probably have that on anywho. Yeah. This area does real well with the corks, man. Like if we had a bunch of cut bait and we were uh, chumming and stuff. Oh, there he is, guys. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, he's pulling us over to the mangroves. He, he, it's a good one, guys. Not as big as I thought he was gonna be, but he's still a nice, nice, nice fish. Try to get you guys a better angle. I'm only using one camera today. Oh man, he's beautiful, guys. Beautiful fish. Not, not a monster. Not a monster at all, but man, look at the spots on that. Oh, hang on, little buddy. Hang on, little buddy. Got him right in the corner of the mouth, just like we want. Guys, look at that beautiful fish. So this is the importance of using these circle hooks, guys. Gets them right in the corner of the mouth. Look at those spots, guys. Vince, look at that. Oh, wow. So pretty. I love these fish. All right, guys, here it goes. That was epic. Here, I got another head. Here you go. All right, guys, back on, back hooked up with a bait and anticipating the bite. There he is. Oh, no. he's pulling me in the trees. Oh, here he goes, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh guys, this is so much fun. I love pulling him out of the trees. I don't know if y'all saw. Yeah. Holy smokes. Wow, holy smokes, dude, I'm soaking wet, along with the camera. 
Oh, they don't have. Look at that, guys. Another beauty. Just another schooly redfish. Healthy, healthy fish. Gorgeous. Here he goes. Need a bait, buddy? Yeah. Hey, try up there, Vince. I usually get them right there. In the front? This usually ain't even the hot spot. Yeah. It's right there. Dude, oh, he got off. That was a big fish, dude. I wasn't, I was sleeping. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. Damn, he had some weight on him. He had some weight on him. There you go, Vince, by your feet. Boys, oh boys. So moral of that story, guys, is don't be sleeping. I'm over here taking in the beauty of the water and the trees and next thing you know, I just donated a shrimp. That's okay though. I'm not mad. They're starting to move out from the trees, Vince. They're starting to move now. That's why I wasn't expecting it. You see where my cork's at? That's where he hit last. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just get it up in that darker water. That fish was moving, man. I know, he took off. You saw the bobber? Yeah, he took I didn't see the bobber, I just seen the line taking off. That thing had some jets. They're frisky with this cool water. Yeah. No doubt about that. Been a dangerous spot there, guys, but sometimes danger is what you want. Order to get that bite. Oh, oh something was little. I think it was a penfish. I was right. It's all right. Just chum the flat a little bit. Chum the shoreline. Vince hooked up. Vince is on. Good one? Oh, no. Good job, brother. Let's start. Vince is on the board. Oh, he's healthy, dude. Just like those other ones. Yeah. Is that the same one? Dude, let me see that fish. I don't know if it's the same one. If it has a dot on the middle, no, it's a different one. Different one? Yeah, he's got two dots. That's amazing, bro. I thought it was for a I second. It was the same one too. Good job, man. Yeah, he's got two dots on his midsection. Be show the camera, Vince. Oh man, gorgeous. And the release. Good job, bro. I know that. Yep, they turn it on, boys and girls. Oh, look at that, Vince. Do you see that? Dude, that was the money shot. I hope so. All right, guys, patiently awaiting for my bite. That's hooked up. Change spots. And I uh, just toss the shrimp over here, and next thing you know, solid fish.
That might be the big fish of the day. No? Yeah, a lot of these little schoolies. Subtle presentation of that nice shrimp. And Vince has got his second red fish of the day. Be careful of the boat next to you over there to the right. Let's see what you got, Vince. Recording. There you go. Nice fish, buddy. Off he goes. Straight back down up underneath the trees he went. Good job. Good job. Nice. All right, guys. I was standing up in the canoe sleeping again. And uh, I got me a fishy. It's a good one, too. Oh, oh. All right healthy fish guys oh watch your line Vince damn running me around here that's a good fish might be the big fish of the day it's close maybe about the same size but boy oh boy is he fighting oh, I got him Man, I was literally standing up, guys, to take a little stretch break. I look up, and my cork was scooting. Here he is. Pretty boy. I know the schoolie fish. Another schoolie, but darker. Gorgeous. All right, here he goes. Awesome. All right, guys. Hooked up. Just made the cast. Oh. What we got here, I think it's a little jack. Fighting hard. It didn't take long for him to show up. Cruising along that mangrove over there we were just talking about your kind just not too long ago there you go healthy little fish what do y'all think just hear him grunting grunt grunt all right here he goes off to live again Yeah, guys, those are actually a lot of fun to catch. For you that don't know, they pull real hard. And uh, if you just love to fish for the sport of it, those, the Jack Creville, will test your abilities like none other. Especially when they get up in that 15, 20 pound, 25 pound range. They really are uh, amazing specimen. Oh, oh, Vince is on right now. Pulling us into the trees. This is a big old redfish. Holy cow, he's pulling us right into the trees. Come on, Vince. Work him out of there, big boy. He got us all up close to them trees. Nice fish, brother. He ain't done yet. You trying to you trying to subdue a, a green fish. Oh, and I'm getting into that danger zone here. I'm trying to record this and watch my cork. Oh, that thing got some fight in it. Nice, healthy fish, dude. Yeah, he's, he's one of the bigger ones. Yeah, he's definitely a bigger one. For today, so far.
That's exactly where I was when that jack, I caught that jack where you just caught him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Show that one, Vince. Healthy, boy. Nice work. All right, and the release. Good job, good job. All right, guys. Captain Taylor here with Salty Scales. Just got off the water. Spent a couple hours of fishing, guys. Rented this canoe. Um, it's $25 to come out here to like Simmons Park, rent a canoe for a few hours. Um, but what we did in just a couple hours, I think we caught about 12 redfish, a jack, and a snook. And we weren't doing anything special. We are just using uh, medium, small, medium shrimp on a popping cork. Just time the, the moon and the water uh, or the tides right. And uh, you come out here and you have a good time. So I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. We appreciate your support. We'll see you on the water.